Koran Kapitel Steiniges Land mit einer neuen deutscher Übersetzung. Übersetzt, geschrieben und gelesen von Senat Brick. Dies sind die Zeichen eines Buches und eines klaren Lessers. Die Ungläubigen werden es bereuen, dass sie sich nicht unterworfen haben. Lass sie essen und es genießen, von der Hoffnung getauscht zu werden, bis sie es erfahren. Und noch keine einzige Siedlung wurde bisher zerstört. zerstört. Es sei denn, es steckt bereits, es steckt bereits im Buch konkret fest. Also, keine Gemeinde kann es beschleunigen, 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 noch kann es hinaus, 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 oder keine Gemeinde kann es beschleunigen, beschleunigen, kann es beschleunigen, noch kann es hinausogern, 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 und sie sagen, über wen wird verraten, du bist verrückt, denn warum bringst du keine Engel mit, wenn du ehrlich bist? Engel werden nur mit der Wacherheit gesandt und dann werden sie nicht aufgehalten und ihnen wird eine Erinnerung verkündet, die bewacht wird. Und es würde euch schon früher bei den alten Sekten offenbart, zu denen kein Bote kann, ohne sie zu beleidigen, weil er so in die Herzen der Sünder eindringt. Sie werden trotz der Beispiele von früher nicht an ihn glauben. Und wenn ihnen die Tore des Himmels geöffnet werden und sie vorübergehend eintreten würden, würden sie sagen, Unsere Augen sind erstaunt, im Gegenteil, wir sind ein verhacktes Volk. Er platzierte die Sternbilder, die Sternbilder am Himmel, verschönerte sie für die Beobachter und beschützte sie vor den verluchten Teufel. Und wenn sie lauschen, werden sie mit einer offensichtlichen Flamme beschochen. Werden sie mit einer offensichtlichen Flamme beschossen. Und er breitete die Erde aus und errichtete starke Berge darauf. Er hat es so angeordnet, dass alles proportional darauf wächst, und er gibt dir alles, was du zum Überleben brauchst, und du bist nicht der Versorger davon, 
und es gibt nichts, was er nicht besitzt und dir außer einem bestimmten Maß schickt. Und er sendet den Wind aus, mit dem er bestaubt. Und dann lasst er Regen von Himmel herabkommen, der zu eurem Getränk, die ent und den ihr nicht aufbewacht. Und er gibt Leben und Tod und ist der Erbe. Und erkennt deine Vorfahren und erkennt diejenigen, die nach dir kommen werden. Und der Herr wird sie alle versammeln, denn er ist weise und weiß. Und er macht die Menschen aus Topfer geformt. Dem Ton. Und er erschuf die Dämonen schon vorher aus der Flamme des Feuers. Und als der Herr zu den Engeln sagte, ich werde aus Ton einen sterblichen Menschen erschaffen. Und wenn ich ihm die Form gebe und meinem Geist in ihn hineinbläse, ihr vernägt euch vor ihm. Und alle Engel vernägten sich gemeinsam außer Außer Iblis. Iblis, der sich weigerte, sich zu verbeugen. Er sagte, O oh, Iblis, warum hast du dich nicht verbeugt? Er sagt, es gebührt mir nicht, mich vor einem Sterblichen zu verneigen, mich vor einem Sterblichen zu verneigen, den du Auston erschaffen hast. Er sagt, vertreibe dich von hier und du bist Verflucht bis zum Tag des Gerichts. Er sagt, Herr, gib mir einen Aufschub, bis sie auferweckt werden. Er sagt, sie werden auf den Bereits festgetzen, festgetzen, festgetzen. Gesetzen Tag verschoben, sie werden auf den Bereits festgesetzen, 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 festgesetzten Tag verschoben. Er sagt, Herr, weil ich in die Irre gegangen bin, werde ich sie euch auf Erden schon machen und sie alle in die Irre führen, außer deinen ächerlichen Diener. Er sagt, dies ist der Weg meiner Gerechtigkeit. Ich werde keine Autorität über meine Diener haben. Außer denen, die euch von den Verlorenen folgen, die euch von den 
Verlorenen folgen, die euch von den Verlorenen folgen. Verlorenen folgen und die Hölle ist der Versprochen. Und die Hölle ist der versprochene Ort für euch alle zusammen, wo es sieben Tore geben wird. Für jede Gruppe ein einiges Tor. Und die Vorsichtigen werden im Paradies zwischen den Quellen sein, geht in Frieden ein. Und die Boschheits wird aus ihren Brüsten entfernt, Brüsten entfernt, so dass sie zusammen gute Gefahrten sie Gute Gefahrten sehen, gute, Ge gute Gefahrten sein werden, die einander gegenüber sitzen, gegenüber sitzen. Sie werden dort nicht müde und nicht vertreiben, sagen sie meinen Dienern, ich vergebe und bin und bin barmherzig, aber meine Strafe ist eine schmerzhafte Strafe. This is my first reading of this chapter, which I personally translated for my own, my own self study, learn, teach projects, educational purposes, so. So far, so good. Few words here and there, which is good. Many words repeated, which is pretty nice. Many words that I haven't spoken for many years. Because the Slavic people, they don't allow us to speak, study, learn German language. The Slavic people are wars come on the earth, fighting, killing each other like insane lunatics and idiots. Both these, whatever they are called, you know. So growing up in an Eastern Communist Germany and also Auslanders in Swabian so-called Turkey, because it was inherited by, the, by an agreement. Anyways, not to go into that, whoever, whatever knows. Those who do know, they know what I'm talking about, so I don't have to, you know, explain myself in a detail, unless really God wants to sometimes but it's pretty rare not always so once i was told say just one more time in deutschland just say one more time german word i was told like this when i was a child even though they want us to study, but they don't want you to actually study, you know. So all these children who were studied, they haven't learned much. You know, I did, you know, that's why they have retaliated against me, almost failed me at seventh grade in the middle school. Yeah, the one Eastern German with the last name Deutsch, of course, yeah. Because they can put any name they want, they have the their own country, their own whatever government, they can put names on the ID, whatever you wish. So she put the Deutsch as she was whatever, you know. Anyways, she tried to fail me but she couldn't. And um but I got threatened. 
I was told say one more German word and 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 you will get killed. They threatened to kill me for speaking German because I was excelling. There's another guy also who was from Switzerland knowing German and but he wasn't talking, so he was just sitting quiet and then getting good grades. I did the same way first couple of years. I was told by another teacher, you know, just be quiet, don't talk too much German and you will get a passing grade. And that was the deal, you know. But then guess what? I started talking more and more, you know, things were opening. The Germany was united back then. And these communists didn't like the German unification. But anyways, they did not succeed. Because I know German don't even have to study it, you know. But I do for higher knowledge and wisdom. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So I had to stop studying German, otherwise they would fail me, you know? Because you have to, um, they fail you if you want subject, you, all other subjects you can excel, have best grades, just one subject they can fail you completely and then you have to you have to do do it again as a punishment. They make you repeat the the grade, and that's total. I mean, ridiculous. But that's how they did it. I mean, anyways, they hate Germans. They call us Nazis all the time, but they're killing each other. They call each other Nazis and killing each other. What an idiots. And it's a good thing. I told them, congratulations. I hope you Ukrainians and Russians kill all each other, you know, and none remains. And one of them wasn't really happy. <laughs> and there was a one woman, she rebuked me saying, how can you say you preacher, priest, to say that. I say that's the truth. You want to fight, so go ahead. You have my full blessing to go ahead and kill each other. Just like Moses when he said to those who worship the golden calf, go ahead and kill each other now for golden calf, or I mean over golden calf, because some did not worship that. So they fought each other, and those who did not worship the golden calf were victorious, the uppermost, and defeated these idolaters. And the Moses was on the hill with raising his arms and praying to God all the time while they were fighting. As somebody might say, wow, that's crazy, what's going on? But for ordinary person, for run-of-the-mill person, uneducated, ignorant, ordinary person, that is surely crazy, whatever it might appear as, as, you know, as if something. But the reality is completely different than fantasy. So, if that's what they want, it's not like they would... <laughs> it's not like I wasn't saying, don't fight each other. It's not like... Um, that's what I'm saying. God knows everything. I don't have time on this earth to explain myself. Nor do I have to, nor do I'm obliged to do so. For me and God and Jesus Christ, the angels, we are all one company not just as a one person or something that the ignorant mistakenly falsely you know believe quote unquote believe <laughs> that's not real belief anyways with this little speech in english now let's go back to the 
English, English or High German. Und erzähle ihnen von Abrahams Gästen, als sie zu ihm kamen und sagten, Friede. Er sagte, Wir hatten Angst vor dir. Sie sagten, Haben sie keine Angst, denn wir bringen ihnen gute Nachrichten über den Jungen, den wir senden. Er sagt, This is one of my favorite chapters because it's like a movie. You've got to be reading the movie script. Sometimes I have to read for the God, sometimes I read for the Satan, for angels, for believers, disbelievers, you know. So, I'm like a movie actor. It's not an ordinary book. Er sagt, because you can make a great, good movie out of this, well, John Travolta being around here, but I know one of his servants from Cuba. But I don't want to ask him to do any movies, you know, unless it's God's will. You know, I don't want to do my own will, my own wishes are in heaven, not in this world. Er sagt, willst du mich im Alter glücklich machen und wie wird mich das glücklich machen? Sie sagten, du wirst wirklich glücklich sein. Also sei nicht verzweifelt. Sie sagte, und wer außer den Verblenden, und wer außer den Verblendeten verzweifelt an der Barmherzigkeit des Herrn, er sagt, so you see this all the time is going, er sagt, er sagt, and you know, say this, say that. It's a movie script. Und was ist deine Aufgabe? Oh, Boten, sie sagte. Wir sind zu einem sündigen Volk gesandt, außer Lutz an Hunger, die wir alle gemeinsam retten werden, Außer seiner Frau, weil beschlossen würde, dass sie zurückgelassen wird. And now for my, <laughs> I don't want to sound arrogant, you know, so whenever I find myself, you know, because it's a tremendous knowledge and wisdom, you know, higher knowledge, so got to be careful with the God's talents and gifts. We have to be responsible and we will answer on a judgment day. How we have been reading, studying and learning, teaching, whether being humble, normal or whether being arrogant pricks, infatuated. So we got to understand the dangers in the higher knowledge and wisdom. Sie sagten, wir sind zu einem sündigen Volk gesandt, außer Lutz, an Hangern, die wir alle gemeinsam retten werden, außer seiner Frau, weil beschlossen würde, dass sie zurückgelassen wird. So yeah, I caught myself, you know, so you can get the devil when he's whispering for me to, to repeat this word, you know, being infatuated and arrogant, you know, because I know how to pronounce German letters and many don't, but I caught myself on time, thanks to God, you know. God gave me the lightning awareness and speed 
sometimes the birds test me, you know, whether I'm, you know, notice them. So they fly quick by my window and I look at them quick, you know, and they're like, wow, this guy is quickie like us, you know. So basically, being Sami, as the Slavic, they hate Samis too. They hate, um, they hate Latinos, Latin. They call, they call them Valachi, which is the, not a bad name itself, but it's actually being used in derogatory term by them. They call those who are not Slavic and who are Romanian or Italian, French, you know, Portuguese, Gallic, Spaniard, and so on and on, you know. The Slavic people call them Vlachis, Vlach. So many times uh, they would look at me, you know, and call me, oh, you Vlach, look at your eyes, under your eyes, darkness. They many times would insult me also, oh, you look sick around your eyes, you know. You got a check, doctor? But I say that's pretty normal in Rome, you know, we, we got this genetic feature, you know. But they know they're just being, you know, they hate each other, so what do you expect for others? <laughs> And here I am back after a little break. After 26 minutes, actually it's best to take up to 10 minutes, like every 10 minutes. But God knows the best, that's why I say. For some might sound contradictory. But it's not. It's just that they lack capability of understanding and comprehending what is it all about. This act, im gegen tail. Wir sind wegen dem, worüber sie streiten, gekommen. Wir sind mit der Wacherheit gekommen und wir sind aufrichtig. Nimm, de, nimm deine Anhänger in der Stille der Nacht mit und du folgst ihnen und lass niemanden von die Kechraum und geh vorwärts, wohin dir befolgen wird, und ihm wurde der Beschluss verkündet, dass die Wurzel davon im Morgengrauen abgeschnitten werden soll, und die fröhlichen Bürger kämen auf sie zu, und er sagte zu ihnen, das sind meine Gäste und bringen sie mich nicht in Verlegen, bringen sie mich nicht in Verlegenheit vor ihnen. Und er sagte zu ihnen, I think I made a mistake, so I have to read this again. For when you have a when you have a mind that you are dealing with two languages like English and German or some other two languages or even recently I was doing the lecture a study lesson with three languages and it's mind-boggling it's tremendous hard and difficult for mind to deal with two languages at once. And I mean completely. 
It's not just um, shallow knowledge of some language and phrases. And that's not it. So I'm talking about the, the high German, higher net language. Das sind meine Gaste und bringen sie mich nicht in Verlegenheit vor ihnen. Seien sie vorsichtig vor Gott und beschamen sie mich nicht. Sie sagt, haben wir der Welt nicht verboten, zu dir zu kommen? Er sagt, hier sind meine Tochter wenn ihr etwas vorhabt. These shallow people also don't understand this when the messenger Lot says, here are my daughters. Here is in meine Tochter. That means here are my daughters. If you are into it, that meaning doesn't mean that he is like just giving their daughters away for rape or something like that as some hypocrites, some evil, wicked people thought wrongly. So just when they thought wrongly that Jesus is hanging out with sinners while he was healing them actually. Sie sagten, haben wir der Welt nicht verboten, zu dir zu kommen? Ja. So they are telling him, didn't we order you that you cannot, Welt is the world, okay, but um, people, that means actually that they cannot have any people, any visitors. This reminds me, just like during COVID, some places they didn't allow vis visitors, you know. And and truth did a great harm to people who needed visitors like relatives and um, people who cared for them. But they made the stupid laws. A lot of places you couldn't visit people during this COVID nightmare and daydare illusion. So they did the same thing like these bastards and these bastards had the same breed as these bastards who who were the enemies of messenger Lot. They were homosexuals just like today's these homosexuals, these devils, diabolical, lustful. They are big sinners and evil creatures. But they are opening out like... That's what the Satan does. He did it before, you see. So he says, you should be with my daughter. You know, they wanted to hang out with his guests who were males. And these homosexuals, he was arguing with them, you know. And as I, like I said, some shallow people don't understand this story just like they don't understand Jesus who was healing sinners, but they thought he was drinking and hanging out with them. So some wrongly would think that this is Lot offering his daughters to be physically raped, tortured, assaulted. That's not true. But he did criticize them for being unnatural, diabolical. Just like in other chapters, he as well was addressing them. So this story gets 
you must know other chapters, then you will have more information. So if I many times explain and say things which are not here said, that's from the other chapters, which each chapter, you know, is like a puzzle piece. They connect, okay? And then you have to know whole book, which is pretty huge. It's actually called itself large, huge, great. As well as wise and noble and wonderful, you know. I like when it's wonderful, you know. My life is, since this book, my life has been a wonderful heavenly fairy tale, you know. Milk and honey, beautiful, nice, majestic, wonderful, you know. I don't want to sound like it's flattering. For it really is a God's blessing. So people who are uneducated and ignorant while thinking that they are qualified enough to explain and preach, they are utterly wrong. Because they always take it out of the context. And like God said, they do it actually knowingly. They know that they are doing it wrong. They are not doing it mistakenly. They are evil. They are bad to the bone. They are beyond salvation. For some my heart to believe, but the reality every day we hear news of these diabolical creatures when the Satan Grim Reaper comes to harvest them just like in a matrix resurrections when the analyst turns his handlers into the suicide boats. So like God says Satan always used disbelievers and later he he leaves them and they get destroyed. For in this chapter he is trying to prove something he has got to being given this permission to test humans to prove his whatever his assumption which God says actually is true. Wasadaka Iblis. Zan. I mean, Ganna, Zanna, Zanna, something like that, yeah. In Arabic, Ganna, Zanna. Z and G, like, you know, you gotta know this special letters each language has their own special sounding. Anyways. Also in the New Testament, as well as I'm just remembered, you hear this few seconds, I'm just like, what is this guy? He's not talking, you know? That's the memory. I, in a few seconds, I memorize something and I tell you. That. And if I talk about it, then I might forget, you know, what I was talking about. But God willing, I do not. So, yeah, again. Yes, New Testament. Is homosexuals or also being mentioned in the New Testament as a sort of the all of the drunkards, immorals, murderers, abortionists, euthanizers, you know, all the killers, evil, wicked people, including the all unnatural, diabolical, lustful creatures, homosexual, and all others, not just homosexual, there are others too, even crazier than them, those who torture women, hang them upside down, you know, tie them up in ropes, you know, squeeze them, pinch them, hurt them, you know, torture them diabolically, satanically into the absolute submission. And then you think these women are doing what they want to do, not they're being just doing what these, their handlers, like Kush in Matrix Resurrections, what they tell them to do. 
And they do it, you know, they do all kinds of crazy stuff just because they have to. Otherwise, they will hang them upside down and tie them up in ropes and torture them and even post those pictures online. And what? Nothing. Nothing happens because these Democrats are soft on crime. They are blind to the real crime and they are torturing those prosecuting like President Trump who are in favor who is in favor of police and also supported by law enforcement and in favor of fighting against crime, in favor of justice and law. But these guys are doing it unpersecuted. They post it online and they do that stuff because it's legal because nobody cares but here we are Jesus Christ and his company here we are fighting them again just like he fought the Mary Magdalene and all those prostitutes and all their pimps those who forced them into prostitution just like in this book also God says about some women who were who are forced into the prostitution because you can never find a woman doing it by themselves on their own always they have some guy some man who are pimping them showing them selling them torturing them you know using them as a merchandise just like God says do not treat women and force them do not force them into the prostitution against their will do not treat women as a merchandise do not treat them against their will they have their own rights as all these rights are numerous and all have been outlined and explained in detail in this book of god and other god's book as well Hier sind meine Tochter, wenn ihr etwas vorhabt, wachen sie betrunken, umkehrten und ein Erdbeben erschüttert, erschütterte sie im Morgengrauen, so dass alles auf den Kopf gestellt wurde und ein Regen aus bestimmten Steinen auf sie fiel. Darin befinden sich die Hinweisschilder. Hinweis, Hinweisschilder für Leute, die gegend erkunden, dass sie sich immer noch an einer stark befahrenen Straße befinden. Darin liegt ein Zeichen für die Glaubigen. And I am back after another little bit longer break. I had to eat something and drink and take a shower. And um, so I'm almost done. And for the last few days it's almost midsummer and it's getting so hot. So I wasn't planning actually not even on reading, especially not on giving the lecture along with it. But it was God's will. Just like God says in his book, this reader, Quran. That we should not say it's too much. He knows the best, whether it's too much or, or not. So with that all being said, I'm going to wrap this up and finish reading it unless God wills otherwise, as I say. 444, okay. Und ein Erdbeben 
erschütterte sie im Morgengrauen, so dass alles auf den Kopf gestillt wurde und ein Regen aus bestimmten Steinen auf sie fiel. Darin befinden sich die Hinweiser, Hinweisschilder für Leute, die Gegend erkunden, da sie sich immer noch an einer stark befahrenen Straße befinden. Darin liegt ein Zeichen für die Glaubigen. Auch die Siedler des Dekik des Dekichtes Dekichts waren Sünder und wurden deshalb vernichtet. So this chapter is not too long but it does have plenty of small verses. It is broken up in a small piece. It's each sentence verse containing only a few words but the translation is always a little bit more in order to you know explain it at least a little bit to be understandable auch die siedler des dekichts ah it's a new word to me <laughs> Die Kichts, auch, auch die Siedler des Die Kichts waren Sünder und wurden des Haub vernichtet. Sie liegen euch an einer stark befahrenen Straße und so lächelten euch die Bewohner des steinigen Landes ihre Gesandten ab. Trotz der ihnen offenbart Zeichen, von denen sie sich abgewandt hatten. Und sie schnitzen Hauser in den Bergen, weil sie dachten, sie seien Sie seien in Sicherheit, doch im Morgengrauen erschütterte, erschütterte sie ein Erdbeben. Und das, was sie von ihrem Besitz angehauft hatten, half ihnen nicht. Und weder die Himmel noch die Erde, und was zwischen ihnen ist, werden ohne die Wacherheit geschaffen. Und die Stunde ist unvermeidlich. Und es halb verzeiht ihnen mit einer sanften Vergebung. Denn der Herr ist der Chauffeur und weiß es. Und sieben sich wiederholende Zitate und ein großer Rieder wurden für sie veröffentlicht, veröffentlicht, richten sie ihren Blick nicht auf das, was ihnen zum Genießen geschenkt wird. Trauern sie nicht um sie und seien sie freundlich zu den Glaubigen. This is my first reading, you know. I did translate this, my translation also. But anyways, when you read something first, you know, it's not as good as when it's being read second and third, fourth and fifth and so on. So many times, the better it is. Und sagen Sie, ich erinnere Sie deutlich dar, wie es den Tälern erklärt wird, denen, die das Buch in Zahlen aufteilen 
Und die der Herr befragen wird, was sie getan haben, erklären sie daher offen, was ihnen befohlen würde, und wenden sie sich von den Gefahrten ab. Ihnen wird geholfen, ihnen wird geholfen im Hinblick auf die Beleidigung von denen, die außer Gott andere Götter, Götter eingesetzt haben. Dadurch werden sie die Konsequenz, Konsequenzen daraus erfahren. Und ich weiß, dass das, was sie sagen, einem auf der Brust drückt, also lobt den Herrn und vernägt euch vor ihm. Und diene dem Herrn, bis das, was sicher ist, kommt. So I did it this way. And I can also, next time, God willing, make it a parallel English as I translate originally into the English, okay, because English is English. It's the Germanic language spoken mostly all over the world due to the many Auslanders, Germans living out of the Deutschland German. So um, Germanic people like Dutch and German, Nordic, for them it's easy to adopt the English and even forget their own language. And this is it. It's the end. I made seven pages in this reader. And um, this is gonna do it for now. My next read is actually, I just have finished the book, Our Daily Spiritual Bread. I've written that book with the one piece, one post, one story, one little lecture, a lesson a day, early in the morning. And I would post it on my YouTube's community page. And it's still there. But I also have made, uh, made it into the book like this. I can make them into the books very quick. Whatever A I want, okay? Not, that, not just that I write books and read, but I also teach them, as I said, but I also can make them myself on a computer. Because okay. God taught me computers, technology, and all that stuff. It's a heavenly knowledge. And that's what I have in plan, God willing, many many projects learning studying and teaching in english and german and um we'll see planning on expansion already a couple more languages but i have to first do this okay there's so many languages in europe it's one of the god's signs people speaking in multiple tongues just like in the New Testament, it says speaking in the tongues, one of the signs of God, of the Holy Spirit. And it says right there that person is more valuable who knows, who speaks in the foreign languages or tongues, knowing its meaning, being able to translate. Like once I was in an Amsterdam, Netherlands, Kingdom of Netherlands, and they asked me for a favor to translate for them into the English because Dutch people all speak English for them, that's their own language. Like they all are multilingual, speaking Dutch and English, or German speaking also English and Dutch, French, and so on surrounding countries' languages. 
So those are Germanic languages, English and Dutch and German, Scandinavian and um, Austrian, Österreich and um, Switzerland, Swiss. And also in the parts of the France, because the France holds some German-speaking territories inhabited by German-speaking people. And that's the thing, it's, um, yeah, I have to do it in France, you know. So it's not going to be hard, I know France already, so I'm going to be, um, French, Spanish, Italian, you know, all those Latin language, Germanic languages, Slavic languages. And um, like I said, and say it again, and uh, finally, it is a great sign of God. You can't say there is no signs of God or be totally ignorant when there is study different languages and you will figure it out for yourself peace and god bless